I wonder, um, despite all your clear words about the, uh, the need and uh, your desire for Greece to stay in the Eurozone, um, could you tell us whether there's any um, discussions or contingency planning underway in your institutions about the possibility that it might exit? We are and we were on the right track. And then came the incident of the Greek elections. But, uh, and we have to deal with this. But in any case, in this, I have to deal with this in the sense that President Barroso and I described, that we are listening, of course, to the Greek people. But we have to respect the engagements taken in the past. And we have the Greek democracy, but we have also democracies of the other countries, the 16 other countries. And they are engaging also taxpayers' money. And so it's a balance. And I think uh, after reflection, uh, everybody has to take his responsibilities. Look, um, I don't know any country in the world or any system where sometimes there are not different opinions expressed. In democratic terms, this is, uh, I think, the rule, including, by the way, here in the United States. Sometimes there are different opinions on the same subject. What counts are the decisions. And the decisions are cl completely clear. The European Union and in the Euro area leaders, they have constantly said that they are ready to take the positions. And they have been taking positions needed to ensure the financial stability of the Euro area. In terms of system of governance of the Euro area and in the European Union, we have made a complete revision of the way we work not trying to compl complement the monetary union with some kind of economic union. Accepting, for instance, what will be uh, completely also considered impossible two years ago, for instance, ex ante coordination of the budgets of the member states. And these rules are now adopted unanimously by the 27 member states, not only in the euro area. The 30th of May, the European Commission will come with national country-specific recommendations. And afterwards, we have this collective exercise of coordinating our uh, economic policies. And I could go on and on, for instance, with the structural reforms that our countries are doing, in some cases with great courage, from pension reform to labor market reforms, issues that are not easy to address, so that uh, Europe can increase its competitiveness. But let's be completely honest and frank about this. Uh, there are no miracles in economy. It cannot change the situation from one day to the other. We have never promised miracles. It will take time, coherence, determination. But I can tell you, and as you know, the European Commission is independent from the member states. We are a truly supranational institution. We don't speak on behalf of the member states. But having been working now with the member states on these issues, I want to tell you I have no doubts about the absolute determination of the European and Euro area countries to do whatever it is necessary to sustain uh, the Euro. Of course, provided that everybody respects its commitments. That's, of course, clear. What is the plan B the Commission is working for Greece? We never come on plan Bs. We are working on plan A. This is a basic rule. We are working for plan A. And plan A is Greece to remain in the Euro, Greece to respect its commitments, and of course, all the other uh, member states respect also its commitments. This is our plan. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Okay.